if you want to control one water pump motor with two float switch first float switch for overhead tank second float switch for underground tank let's see working when overhead tank is empty then your float switch is downside when float switch down your motor will start automatically when your tank is filled completely then float switch will up okay when float switch up your motor will stop automatically okay when float switch down your motor will start automatically when float switch up your motor will stop automatically okay now let's see underground tank float switch working when underground tank is empty then your float switch is down side okay when underground tank is empty your motor will not start okay your motor will start when your underground tank fill completely okay when underground tank float switch is down side so your motor will not start because in underground tank water is not present okay so ultimately your motor starter will start when underground tank fill completely and overhead tank is empty okay now let's see how to do control wiring for this application okay we connect to one cooler motor for water pump motor and we connect to one contactor for dual starter okay we connect to one contactor which operate on 220 volt ac supply this float switch for overhead tank and second float switch for underground tank okay now let's see working of this starter when overhead tank is empty when overhead tank is empty then float switch is downside okay when float switch is downside so your motor starter will start automatically okay in this condition water comes from underground tank to overhead tank okay now water is filling in overhead tank when overhead tank is filled completely then float switch upside then your motor starter will stop automatically okay again when your underground tank is empty your motor starter will start automatically okay now let's see underground tank float switch working when underground tank has water so float switch is upside okay when float switch is upside your motor starter will start okay when underground tank is empty when underground tank is empty float switch is downside when underground tank is empty float switch is downside so your motor starter will stop your motor starter will start when underground tank has water okay i hope you clear the concept of this starter now let's see how to identify float switch wires okay in this float switch we have three wires in this float switch black wire is common wire let's see how to check float switch wire first we set multimeter and continuity range we connect to one probe in common wire which is black wire okay and blue wire when float switch is downside float switch is down so black and blue wire is nc when float switch up then this will be ano okay so for overhead tank we need to use black and blue wire because black and blue wire is nc when float switch is downside okay you can see one more time when float switch is up okay when float switch up then black and red wire is nc okay when float switch is upside okay so black and red wire is nc so underground tank we need to use black and red wire for overhead tank we need to use black and blue wire hope you clear the concept okay you can see one more time for overhead tank black and blue underground tank black and red wire okay now let's see connection of this float switch wire first we connect overhead tank okay for overhead tank we connect this float switch okay in this float switch we have yellow wire in place of black wire okay so we connect a yellow and blue wire for overhead tank and underground tank black and red wire as we see previously okay this connector is for underground tank and upper connector for overhead tank okay so for underground tank we use black and red wire okay you can see float switch connection now let's see power wiring okay we connect line and neutral in contactor you can see here and connect water pump motor line and neutral in contactor output okay it is a very simple and basic connection now let's see how to complete control wiring it is very important okay first we connect all connection of power wiring for control wiring we connect a line wire from here you can take line wire from mcb also so first we connect a line wire in float switch common wire okay 
we connect a float switch common wire and output of float switch which is blue wire for overhead tank and connect in contactor coil A1 terminal ok now for neutral wire we connect one connector of neutral wire here and connect underground tank of float switch common wire which is black wire ok so we connect common wire in black wire and float switch output is red wire ok for underground tank ok so we connect one connector and connect it to the contactor coil A2 terminal ok now our connection is done completely now let's see working we already start mcb when overhead tank is empty the float switch is down when float switch is down your motor will start automatically okay now your overhead tank is filled completely then your motor starter will stop automatically hope you clear the concept okay now let's see underground tank when underground tank has water then float switch upper side motor start when underground tank has no water your motor will start automatically okay hope you clear the concept of how to control one motor starter with two float switch in this connection we use two float switch for one overhead tank and underground tank hope you clear the concept of this motor starter if you learn anything with this video please press like button if you have any query please ask in comments box for today's enough we'll meet next video thanks for watching